all Kenyans know that the National Assembly and the Senate completely ignored the law and did politics by hounding out the Deputy President from office. Surprisingly, in Parliament and in Senate, the team that was after the removal of the Deputy President was composed of seasoned lawyers who were suffering from legal am amnesia. They forgot that after their drama, the next battlefield is at the High Court. A matter came up today at the High Court. Remember, the law provides that upon an impeachment, the president has 14 days to nominate. He nominated three hours after the impeachment. The constitution provides that parliament shall have 60 days to deal with this question. Parliament sat within 15 minutes and they gazetted that they have approved Professor Kindiki to be the deputy president, nominee. A swearing-in ceremony <clears throat> was arranged at, Jamu, at uh, Uhuru Gardens the next day. And that's why I say, Mr. President, your legal team has failed you. You are finding yourself in a crisis created, masterminded by incompetent legal advisors surrounding the head of state. The law on the assumption of office of the deputy president is that upon the determination of this is the person to be appointed, that appointment must be done the next Tuesday after that determination. That Tuesday will be declared a national holiday. That national holiday, the, that the president-elect shall take off of office between 10 to 2 p.m. What was happening at Uhuru Gardens is a complete sham and an abuse of the constitutional and constitutionalism in Kenya. Today, the state came to pick an order that they have vacated the interim orders. My clients, Sherry Amtan, and very many petitioners had filed petitions. They were certified by the judges. The judges referred those matters to the Chief Justice <clears throat> for impanelment on the 18th. The Deputy Chief Justice simply picked the files that had interim orders and brought them to court for them to be vacated. That scheme goes deep into very serious questions <clears throat> of politics. What was the position of the judiciary, the DCJ, in the elections of 2017? We have got to go back to the history. Where is the D where is the CJ? The CJ is whereabouts are not there. And the CJ today has surfaced to send condolences of the loss of a magistrate. Serious contradictions. We are telling those UDA members 
those who think that impeaching Gashagwa is a walk on the park. We are now in the arena where the constitution and the law applies. The courts after the high court, any party that we lose, this matter will go to the court of appeal. Any party that we lose, this matter will go to the Supreme Court. And I'm telling Kenyans, the deputy president shall be in office until around March 2027, when they will part away and each will form a political party to contest the elections of 2027. We are calling upon the judiciary to follow the law. And I'm appealing to the media, you are the custodians of the people's rights. Proceed. We have information. An application is supposed to be done to gag the media that this matter is of national uh, security question. A good friend, Senator Manzo, will deal with that. We shall protect the freedom of the media to air everything. There is no national security question. We will be very ready, alert, to defend Rigiji and Rigiji with his over 7 million votes has a right that every Kenyan follows this matter to the end. A lot of continue and we, as of now, we are aware the security organs have been removed from the deputy presidents, which is contemptuous of the court order. There is no constitutional crisis. There is no constitutional crisis. Anybody raising the question that this matter needs to be dealt with because it's a national constitutional crisis, where is REBC? Remember, Kindiki's academic certificates, Kindiki's ID, Kindiki's voter registration, Kindiki's passport, Kindiki's qualification can only be vetted by the chairman of IEBC. The president cannot be. That is the next phase. The nominee that has been put across does not meet the constitutional and statutory requirement to be appointed a deputy president. That is the next phase. So that's what I'm saying, Mr. President, suck all those people around you and get people <laughs> like Manzo to advise you the law properly. Thank you. I just want to make a very brief one.